What's up? Hello. Welcome. Today I'm working on the soundtrack a bit. Um, another interesting thing I've been working on is the PDF map. This is a, something that's been promised since the Kickstarter. And um, so this is all backers are going to get this special PDF map. And so I started working on an algorithm that will print out all the, the um, basically just draw all the areas. Um, so that's really, that's kind of cool. This is gonna be sweet. Once it's all done, like I'm imagining like a, a landscape mode map of the overworld. The overworld will probably be about that size. It'll, I don't know, maybe it'll be bigger. And it'll be like icons where all the, the cool stuff is, where you're gonna find all the items, where here's where the top hat is, here's where, oh, there's a diamond stash there. And then some of the PDF maps, I'm thinking, will be like um, we're still with question marks on them so like it won't say exactly what this item is here or whatever it'll just be a question mark so it's kind of more like Nintendo Power maybe there won't even be parts of the map filled in for for these like more mysterious maps and then some of the maps will be more like complete just totally here's every single item here's how to get a hundred percent in this world, I'm thinking that those will be the more rare. Like I'll pr I'll do like one map like that, and then like ten maps that are more of these mysterious ones. But we'll just start sharing them with you know sharing them on the internet so people can do speed runs um, a lot easier this way. Once you once you've got the details for how to do a speed run, it becomes pretty fun because you're like, oh cool, here's how to take the shortest route through this dungeon. Here's how here's the shortest path through this overworld to get to all ten dungeons. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. So anyways, let's get to the soundtrack a little bit. I've just, um, took step one so far, which is to put every single track in the game, uh, of note and put it all into one track so that, um, and using the rendered files that are actually played in the game through FMOD, um, well, I'm not going to load F, well, actually, maybe I will load FMOD right now. I'll probably need it. Oh man, are the levels even going? La 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 la. Okay, cool. We got some sounds. Wait, are the sounds going here? Okay. And live. there's some real problems with running audio software and game show at the same time so let's cross our fingers that this video actually is a success <laughs> all right so we don't need fmod right now but let's go to um what so yeah anyways i've done basically this big track this is an hour long single track um one thing i learned from writing an album last decade was that uh it sucks if you try and if you split up your album. If you want to create the, uh, an album that has flow between all the tracks and there's bridges and it all connects well, like I'm thinking of like a Nine Inch Nails album. Um, Trent Reznor does an amazing job of like, you know, and it, and everybody else that's worked on his albums, like they do this amazing job of like going, of like taking you on this journey throughout the entire album. And many many bands do that. I'm just thinking of. Uh, Nine Inch Nails because like I grew up listening to them, but anyways, um, that's what I want to do with this Songbringer soundtrack. Um, so, anyways, I've got it all visually in front of me, a whole hour's worth of audio, so I can say, oh, at first I need to lower this volume here. This is like peaking too high. This track right here is also peaking a bit high, and just basically kind of even out the whole track and everything, and that will really um, help things to gel a little bit faster. And then I haven't even gone in and started making the transitions at all. So um, here I'm actually got it all in Ableton, just like um, it's like 50 tracks worth of audio because some of the some of the songs basically have like five tracks, you know, worth of audio to play. And of course they're all procedural as well. So this is like Boss Zero A. I just chose the A because I wanted to see how big 
the whole soundtrack would be at first. But what I'm eventually going to do is blend these songs using the um, circle of fifths. It's basically a part of music theory where if you move up um, your notes, so as you go as you go from one song to another, if you want to increase energy, you can use the circle of fifths. Or you, if you want to decrease energy, you can use the circle of fifths as well. So um, yeah, I'm just going to use a circle of fifths to increase energy as you go through all of this. Even if one song seems like it's a slower, less energetic song, it'll feel more energetic because it's using this cool technique. Um, but anyways, so yeah, I'm gonna let's start with um, the volume, and then I'll probably do a lot of organizational work, coloring these things up so it looks like it makes more sense and. Um, but anyways, oh, what I was rambling about earlier is it, when you try and write an album, it sucks if you break everything out into tracks first because then you're constantly maintaining the difference between them. And I'm talking about if you want to blend your tracks together a little bit. Like if I want to take these two tracks here, blend them together a bit so one of the end of one blends into the beginning of another. If you do that work to split them apart um, first, you help, you're going to have a hell of a time creating an album because it's like um, it's just so much more work if you keep everything in one file at first if you can if you got the computer to do it you know just do that render out all your tracks do this keep them all in the same file until the very end until you, you finally want to split them up into a track you're like solid you're like this is it the album's awesome I want to make this tracks then go in and like just select regions and be like all right there's track one and there's track two or whatever save yourself a lot of work didn't know you'd get a tip on that, did you? Uh, I selected the wrong region now. All right, there we go. Okay, so let's start with uh, what's up. This is looking pretty good at first. Yeah, let's get to about like that much audio to start with. Okay, so this is coming in good. Oh, this is probably the intro. Is this the, yeah. What's this? Oh, this is the, um... Oh, this would be kind of cool to blend these together, maybe. This definitely needs to be louder. Okay, so this one, let's try increasing it by probably 2 dB. Um, I'll just try it here first so I can see how much to increase it in Ableton. Hmm. This is a pretty important track, so we might want to actually keep it that high, two decibels. I wonder if that's clipping at all. Not that much. I could limit it. Oh, do I want to do that? I think I'm just going to increase the volume. Oh, man. Man. Oh, I'm so torn. Should I do it that way first? Hmm. Yeah. This way is more simple. Because later I can go, oh, okay. Here's the track. 
and so you can you look at all the volumes for everything afterwards. It's, that really helps actually. Okay, that should be good about two dB. Maybe a little less actually. If you want to keep it like, hold on. Let's undo that. That yeah, looks a little better. But this. Oh. So just the intro of this track needs to be a lot louder. Now let's blend them together too. Hmm. Okay, this is kind of a. I kind of hate using this technique, but I'm gonna put a volume envelope, volume envelope <laughs> onto this right here. Hmm, why can't I? Oh, I need to warp it. Oh, I need to warp it. I don't know if I want to warp it. Hmm. Okay. Now I'm considering using volume envelopes for everything. Yeah, because this is not really like a track. This is not really like writing a song where you want to have all the tracks playing at once. And you're gonna be editing all their like mixing like this. Okay, this is probably a better idea to just create volume envelopes. Okay, so this is a total of how much to increase? It's probably pretty good, 4 dB.
pause too much longer there for that. Okay, so that that's where I'm Hmm. So do I want this track right after the other one? Is such a fun little track out of this one considering expanding it into like a full song for this we need to find the right place for it though this is such a fun thing like where does it belong slow marching song which doesn't fit this transition doesn't work it starts to pick up rhythm oh wait I'm forgetting my most important mission here is to get the volumes right which is too loud. Oh, this one's way too way too quiet. Cool, so when this one goes in, it should be about 3.5. Okay, so the question is, would this one go well mixed with this one? Yeah, this is gonna work. Mm, eh, it's, it's really close. This one, how much does it? Oh, shazzle. Oh, wait, I have that. Okay, so this one, how much should decrease by? Like everything but the ending, so we do need to do a volume envelope on this. Oh, wait, wait. It might just be the melody is too much. Let's just take a look at this track. This might need to like just decrease the melody. All right, so we got overworld is these C sharps. 
I gotta get a drink. One sec. this one this is like a too slow of an intro but I think I got this I don't think that's even timed right let's put this at the very beginning damn <laughs> okay let's hope that's right Now, does that make it faster? Oh, this is horrible. That's so bad together. snares and they're not they're misaligned that's why it's so annoying um let's try again i think there's another one to mess with that later I think in the actual song but like trying some double dub drums or something okay so which one's the dominant track here oh harmony Oh, 
getting the effect I'm trying to get out of this one. Oops, oh, sorry, it was like that negative something. Just turn the gain down. So it does limit this. This keeps peaking a little too high. And it's, a, it's only part of the track, so I think limiting it's okay here. Not hurting any dynamic range that much. Okay, so after this, it gets a lot more lively in this track. So let's try putting the song of the sword right here. I mean, right here. Definitely, I want to expand this a lot, actually. This is a really fun thing. I might even do this right now. Son of a gun. <laughs> but uh, putting like a, an intro to it and then like an outro to it, really blend these together. But I think this feeling works here. You're going from this sort of, sort of overworld marching rhythm into this, whoa, it's crazy, like, yeah. And then you kind of get into this more dungeony music. Let's see if this kind of fitting, fitting this part of the transition, if it went from that to that. <laughs> yeah, with the right transition, I think you could definitely make these two work. Oh man, it's it's so good to be excited about something. I think I am gonna do this right now. Oh, but first, did the volume right? Yeah, three point five. Okay. Ah, excitement is like creative fuel. So I got these couple versions of Song of the Sword here. They must be backups. They used to create backups of songs. But now I just use Git. Wow. 
does that sound so much slower? This says 69. See if it sounds the same. Oh. <laughs> Whoops, that's a cool serendipity. I love it when stuff like that happens. So if I warp it, it puts it in. I think it was I think its base was one of five. Oops. Damn, what it, I don't know. Maybe it is 120. What? Oh, I messed it up. There, oh, there. 105.97. Could be cool. So the soundtrack version is gonna have like a it's fast rhythm. I love it. Okay, so song of the sword. Let's make sure the other two songs of the sword are indeed backups. I, I think looking at their files, these are from 2015, so they're probably old. So they're the oldest. Just laying down the melodies without any any attention to the instrumentation. I love this ending. That's pretty cool. Okay, and so I went to that to version. Ah, I see why I kept these. Totally different versions of the song. That's the that's basically the current version. Okay, so maintaining its old awesomeness. Let's call this one soundtrack. <laughs> Song of the Swords. All right, so I'm thinking like an intro. This goes. Doom. <laughs> Clear this up a bit, make this easier to see by taking out any envelopes that are not being used. Clarify, simplify. Dang, that's quiet. Wow, that is just noise. Oh, okay.
have that little melody. There's one symbol. <laughs> oh, I love it. I don't really need a whole like track for that. familiarize myself. Let's do a whole intro's worth of intro. Like this. Except for wait. Except for that. That intro thing. Okay, all y'all. Come over here. Fade out. No, it's not here. Oh, it's probably. Oh, yeah.
F A sharp G A. Oh, this is crazy. A A sharp G C. This is one should be a C then. to the soundtrack. One day you will blossom into something. Okay, so that just belongs there for now. Oh, it's so much better, faster. Okay, that's, that wasn't it, but it's definitely faster than 65.
right, so level one. It's really that slow. I think something's missing here. Maybe this one's all accidentally worked. No, it's not. See, the drums are warped. <laughs> Phantom track keeps playing over and over. What's your problem, track? Jeez. happened to those drums before. I don't know what happened when I just warped it again, but it's, now it's working. Okay. But anyways, overall that track. Oh, it's like maybe negative one. Which means you could take all the tracks. All right, I'm not going to fix this gap right now because that song's going to get longer. Level two. I wonder what I should put. Be should I put anything between these? I like how it builds. There's, I'm, oh, there's a couple things I want to mix in. There's like this. like the item room, goal room. But I should reorganize the track, or the whole soundtrack last because it'll be easier to do the volumes all in one pass because then I won't be losing track of where stuff is in this. Once again, this track, the drums got slowed down immensely. If I just warp it again, does it work? Yes, there it goes. Now it's fine. It's so much better. God.
leave it. Okay, cool. This is such a rad track. I love this one. I got the door, baby. Huh? I got the door. Damn, this one's got a lot of tracks. It's a lot of balance in the game. Okay, so maybe it's eight. Oh, that's a little bit too much. Still a little much for a quiet track. This one should have lower peaks. Yeah, that's probably good. Let's see what this is. Even with its weird slow drums. Oh yeah, that, that will blend nicely with the right drumming and stuff. That's cool. It probably needs a quieter intro, as this one's doing its outro. But anyways, just that's a minor detail. So here in Ableton, L3. to increase all these tracks so I can't just do plus six to the whole thing but maybe
This one, this one needs some limiting. What's up, man? Can you zip this up for me? Yeah. Oh, that looks nice. Just keep it on. I'll use my tummy again. Look good? Mm hmm. This is just a blend. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. 
so we're going into more of a peaceful track again. Transitionary balancey thing. Uh, that's too soon. We went L3 to L5, straight into L, this Mel. Why is that? Oh, I gotta remember to keep doing the volumes first. But anyways, there's definitely gonna be some some thoughts of brewing here. What order all this should go in? See that transition is not working there, and this drums are totally messed up. Ah, one warp, warp again, and then loop. Somehow, magically works every time.
terms of tripping over each other here, but they should actually align pretty well. Very similar, I think they're the exact same instruments. Oh, this one's beautiful. It's got a beautiful intro. I love the song. There's really no drums. It's just it's noise. It was too quiet here at first. It needs to swell up a bit more. This one, the volume, to make it swell.
just like this whole track because when you play this video game you're not ever hearing the drums always this this song this little weird noise track here is, is the drums basically and this comes in when you're fighting enemies and it goes out when the enemies are away so you're only hearing it like half the time so this is really interesting to finally hear this track together like I, I love it song are actually random and it's so it shows I love this man I love this oh this is so cool I to make some of it more random to just really like hammer home this beautiful it's just rhythmic but it's not melodic it's so oh, I love it <laughs> somewhere else this is so uh, this 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 going into that might is really not I don't think it's working but let's see So I'm going to target this one as one I want to move by making this one red. I know I want to move... Um, I don't know. It just needs to come down a tiny bit.
here's another transition that doesn't work, but let's get the volume straight. for this. These two tracks go well together. This L8 going into Overworld A. Eh? Hmm. I'm not sure right now. Phone rings half the time, it's the wrong number. I'm telling you.
This is the goal room. Should go after the boss for sure. I think it's just missing his double drums. Somehow this doesn't sound very loud. This is missing something. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but this is not loud enough. Anywhere near loud enough. It's missing something crazy big. Okay, here we go, F mod. This is what I opened you for. Oh yeah.
this is maybe this whole thing just needs about uh, because I don't have an outro yet. This one I've got earmarked to be its own. A new track, so I'll do something with that for sure. I might change the intro. No change. Oh. Wow. Okay, Wyoms Melody. This is a big old track, this last bit. This whole song, yeah, this needs to come down in general. Maybe.
music so much playing the game, speedrunning it a lot lately, so I really need to keep my ears fresh by listening to it only a minimum amount of time. Per day, I'm thinking. So I'm gonna like say that this is enough for the, this video. Stop and get some dinner. Maybe actually I'll, I'll export it one last time before we're all done to see how that volume work went. So let's render it. Just take one visual look at it, see if we improved it. Just in its overall volumes. <laughs> So what will be rattling around my subconscious a lot over the next night and tomorrow and stuff is where to put some of these songs, like where to fit them all together to make it all flow as a nice album. There's a few tracks that are a lot different than the rest. There's the ones where you're fighting enemies, bosses and stuff like that. The, the tempo gets a lot faster and those transitions are going to need to be just right. Might have to blend them together by writing more music to kind of go in between, you know, or extending certain tracks to be longer. Uh, okay, I mean, I guess in general it's better, but still, I think I kind of, well, I went over over too much basically on everything. Like this track here, this one, this one here. But I mean, it's a good start. It'll be really interesting to get them all blended together and making, making the transitions and stuff. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.